jaz vetaju zje do Ukrajincev v Veliko Britaniji, da tih to zaraz v Ukrajini, da so sidnik krajinah. I can't even imagine what you're living through right now or the outrage and heartbreak you must feel as everything you know and love is so inexplicably and brutally shattered. What's happening in your homeland is an abomination. And like people across the UK, I am heartsick at the destruction and loss of life. On Wednesday, MPs in our House of Commons stood to applaud the Ukrainian ambassador and to demonstrate that the whole of the UK stands squarely with the people of Ukraine and your awe-inspiring struggle against this aggression. Together with Ukraine's many friends, we're doing everything we can to support you and to impose a mountain of pressure on Vladimir Putin. We're working with more than 25 allies and partners from as far away as Australia to support those engaged in the battle, not only to protect their homes, but freedom and democracy itself. With the US and the European Union, we've brought in the biggest package of global sanctions ever imposed on Russia, and we will go further unless and until this aggression stops. The world is turning its back on Putin and his regime. Global corporations are severing ties with Russia, participation in sporting events is being cancelled and nation after nation is taking a stand. The vice is tightening its grip and it will continue to tighten. To those Ukrainians here in the UK who I know are desperately worried about family and friends, I can tell you we're doing everything we can to help those fleeing the conflict. If you are a Ukrainian in the UK, we've made it easier for you to bring over family members through the Ukrainian Family Scheme. On Tuesday, I announced there will be a new humanitarian sponsorship route. And we're matching the donations you make through the Disasters Emergency Committee Ukraine Appeal, starting with £20 million, alongside the hundreds of millions we're providing in humanitarian aid. Putin has made a grave miscalculation. The free world is united in its resolve to stand up to his barbarism and the fortitude and defiance of the Ukrainian people in the face of this unjust and unwarranted aggression is moving hearts around the world. I've spoken almost every day to President Volodymyr Zelensky and I marvel at his bravery, his calm, his sense of purpose, just as I marvel at the heroism and resolve of the Ukrainian people. And I know that however long it takes, however arduous, Putin must fail. Our thoughts and, and our sympathies are with the whole of Ukraine in its battle for freedom. Slava Ukraini!